Hello students, so let's try to solve one problem from just 2023 and this problem is from quantum mechanics. So let's discuss this particular problem. So a particle is confined in a box whose potential is given that Vx is equal to zero. So mod x is less than or equal to L by two and infinity when mod x is greater than L by two. And you will see that this kind of potential is there. So that means between minus L by two and plus L by two, we have zero potential and otherwise we have infinite. And it is also given that uh, there is a state of a particle, which is nothing but the superposition of ground state and first accelerated state. So ground state is phi one and first accelerated state is phi two. And this is superposition state at t is equal to zero. So what we have to do, we have to calculate the value of tau h upon ml square. So we have to calculate the numerical value of this one. So what is this particular tau? So this particular tau is the minimum time for which particle have equally likely in either half of the box. So particle have probability 50% into the left half of the box and the particle have probability 50% in the right half of the box. So this is basically given into this particular problem. So this is all about tau. So it is given at the t is equal to zero. So we will just go for a time evolution and then we can easily calculate this particular thing. So let's approach this particular problem. So, but before going to this particular problem, we have to identify that phi one X is nothing but root two upon L cos pi X by L. And that is inside this particular box. And that is X is between minus L by two to plus L by two and zero. And associated energy E1 is pi square H cut square upon two ML square. So this is my phi one. And uh, similarly, we can also identify the phi two. So what is my phi two? So I can use this place. So phi two X is equal to root two by L sine two pi X by L. Obviously X is between minus L by two to plus L by two and zero otherwise. And zero here otherwise. And what is E two? E two is so basically E2 is given by 4 pi square h cut square upon 2 ml square. So this information we have to collect before we have to just going to approach this particular problem. So we have just keep it side. Okay, so let's start this problem. So first we will go for psi xt. So psi xt is nothing. 1 by root 2 pi 1 exponential minus i e1 t upon h cut plus 1 by root 2 pi 2 exponential minus i e2 t upon h cut. So this is a time evolution of a state. Now we have to just go for mod psi xt square. So when we will go for mod psi xt square, then we have to go for psi star xt and psi xt. So we can easily calculate this thing. So this value will be, and we know that phi one and phi two all are real. So there is not any problem. So we will get this phi one square half phi 2 square plus 2 time 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, phi 1, phi 2, cos e2 minus e1 t upon h cut. So you can easily calculate this particular expression. I am not going into very detail of that, how we will get it. And uh, we have done this thing in our class lot of time. Now, what is in this particular problem? In this particular problem, it is given mod psi xt square 
dx and any half of the box so I, I am just taking 0 to l by 2 is half so this is very interesting because it is given the particle have equal likely in either half of the box so that means 50 percent into this and 50 percent into second half so i am just taking the right half of the box so this is so we have to just solve this equation and from there we have to put t is equal to tau because we have to just talk about the minimum time so let's try to go for this so when we are just going to open this integration then what we will get we will get half 0 to l by 2 pi 1 square dx plus half 0 to l by 2 pi 2 square dx plus this root 2 and this 2 will cancel out and this number this is just a number so we will put this number cos e2 minus e1 t upon h cut and integration of 0 to l by 2 pi 1 pi 2 dx and this value is equal to half so this is very interesting so this all value must be equal to half and for that we have to calculate t is equal to tau. So we have to just use this thing. So obviously I have to remove all these parts so that I can do the final calculation. So let's try to go for the final calculation. So I will just keep only this part and I am just going to remove all the unnecessary part. Okay. So, when you are going to do this integration, there is not any need to do this integration. We know this value is half. How do you know? Because this is nothing but the finding the probability between 0 to L by 2 if particle is in ground state. This is again phi 2 square and you can write it mod phi 1 square also. But here all are real number, real functions, so there is not any problem. And this is again finding the particle between 0 to L by 2, finding the probability of a particle between 0 to L by 2 if it is in first excited state. And this integration we have to do. But the number is very nice. This number and this number is very nice. So there is no need to do this calculation. But okay, you can do it for practice. Anyway, so what we will get? So obviously 50% chance that particle will be in the first half of the box if it is in ground state again it has 50 percent chance if if particle is in the first excited state and it say lie between 0 to l by 2 so what we will get we will get 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so this integration is half again 1 by 2 this integration is again half and i will just take this number and this number we can write e2 minus e1 is nothing but 3 pi square 1 h cut 1 h cut will cancel out h cut upon 2 ml square and now t is equal to tau so we will just uh, so right now i am just putting this t and if you will go for this particular integration you will just get it 4 upon 3 pi and that value is equal to half but there is no need to do this the integration but yes you can do it so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 so beautiful part is that this thing is cancel out so why there is no need to do this calculation if it is not going to cancel out then it will obviously support the thing now that means this number this is constant so this number cos 3 pi square h cut t upon 2 ml square must be equal to 0 and for the minimum time that t is equal to tau so for t is equal to tau we have to just go for 3 pi square h cut tau upon 2 ml square must be equal to pi by 2 
and now we can do little bit uh, manipulation to this particular thing then we can easily find the final answer so we have to write answer in term of h so we have 3 pi square h upon 2 pi into 2 ml square tau must be pi by 2 so this pi this pi this pi and this pi will cancel out and we have this 2 this 2 is cancel out and we have basically h tau upon ml square is equal to 2 by 3 wow so this is your final answer so you can easily calculate this thing the all integration part you can do it but I am just using the logic of quantum mechanics and we can finally get this number h tau ml square is equal to 2 by 3. I think this is option number A is the correct answer. Thank you.